Hey guys, it is Wynn here from Beauty Pop, and if you can't tell, I'm in, yet again, a different location. I am not filming in our normal background, so normally we film over at Jessica's, if you do not know um, that already. And I am trying to learn how to film some things by myself. Um, so please bear with me if the lighting is somewhat off. I think it's a little bit brighter than last time, so I'm making an improvement. Hey! But I'm also in a different location, and I did change some of the settings on my camera. I'm still learning all of this stuff. We don't have, uh, normally when we film, we have Michael, which is Jessica's fiance, who has everything. He kind of helps uh, set up the lighting and the camera and all of that, so this is kind of trial by error for me, but I wanted to still, that is not going to stop me. I wanted to do a quick review on a product that I have been loving, and it is the Garnier, or Garnier, Garnier, I don't I'm bad at the pronunciation of things. It's the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, and there has been a big fad in cleansing waters over, I don't know, this last year. It kind of started, if you're not familiar with cleansing waters, a, the, the more the name brand one is the one that's bio, Bioderm, Bioderma, which is like, I think $30 for a bottle or it could be even be more. How I have been using this has just been to take my makeup off. I still feel like my face is not 100% clean if I do not wash it. That's personal preference, but this is a great alternative to using makeup remover wipes because makeup remover wipes are so darn expensive and you pay like five dollars and you get 30 of them and if you wear like really thick makeup you may have to use two so you're only getting really like 15 days worth of use up for five dollars i found this at target and it was i believe 6.99 i'll link it below in the description so it was around seven seven or eight dollars i'm pretty sure it was 6.99 um, and then i did get the waterproof one sometimes i do wear waterproof eyeliner or mascara if you can kind of see there's a different like there's, looks like a little bit thicker. It's like there's a separation, so you kind of have more of the oil on top, and then you have the cleansing liquid. Um, so I do like this. I have been, as I said, I've been using this in substitution for makeup remover wipes, and I think it does a really good job at taking off your makeup. And instead of me just rambling on and on about this product, I'm going to do a quick demo. I'm not really wearing a lot of heavy makeup today. This is just something like a quick natural look that I'd wear to work. I just my mascara, I, I do have mascara on my face, if you can kind of see, it's just not, it's just very light, and then I'm just got, I have mineral foundation, bronzer, blush, and then some light eyeshadow, so this is typically more of a neutral um, look that I would just wear to work. So what I do is kind of shake this up, and then I normally, then I take a cotton round, these are just the cotton rounds that come from, I believe they're from Walgreens, I don't really like these, I prefer the Target ones. I just, I'm a fan of Target things, I don't know why. But I just take a cotton round and then I saturate it with the liquid and then all you do is start to take the makeup off your face. And just I'll take one side off. And it does, if you, especially if you saturate the cotton pad, it does a really good job of taking the makeup off. I feel like it's kind of hard to tell that I, like I'm taking it off like this side has makeup other than my eyes and this this side doesn't because my skin has actually been looking clearer these days and it's actually looking like it's even now as far as tone. So it's kind of, here is one you can kind of see this is what one cotton run looks like and then I'm gonna get a different one. And then I'm going to take the other side of my face off, and it does, I mean, I've also used this with my MAC Pro Longwear, which is a long wearing foundation, and it's a little, it's a lot thicker than just mineral foundation, and it does a really good job at getting that off too. I use, you may have to use more cotton rounds, but and then I always take it on my neck and kind of see. So here is the second one. Like so, I'm, so far I am into two. Overall, if you can kind of see, get a little bit closer. I'm starting to get a breakout spot here, but um, I don't have a lot of makeup on my face. And I think this does a really good job at getting the makeup off your face. This is a great alternative if you um, if you don't really like to wash your face. This is a great alternative. It'll take your makeup off. You do not have to wash your face. For a while, it does kind of leave a little bit of an oily residue, 
um, but I'm sure that would kind of absorb into your skin. It doesn't really feel over oily. There's just like a slick residue that's still on your skin after you take your makeup off. Um, but if you use this before you go to bed and you're going to put lotion and stuff on your face anyway, but I typically will wash my face as I said before, so it's not an issue. But overall, I definitely recommend this. If it's something if you've wanted to try one of these cleansing waters, I definitely recommend run out to like Target, Walmart. CVS or Walgreens are probably going to be more expensive. I've, I've seen them there before, but this is about seven dollars. I'm pretty sure it was six ninety nine at Target, but I will I will list the exact price and link the product down below. Anyway, that is all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we greatly appreciate your support. Um, if you want to check out more of us, don't forget to check us out on Facebook at Like Beauty Pop or on Instagram at Instant Beauty Pop. And as always, we post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.